heat was quite a major thing down here and yeah, we just ended up with cows pretty much in mud in the, Barn. uh, in the barns, except it was sawdust. So we were looking for something better. And then we started off with crops, cows on crop, and found the mud was quite hard on them and then we still went to composting barns for composting and had a lot of issues with getting it to compost properly. And hence why we've done the flood wash. flood wash and it's been a life changer. A lot less time spent working in the winter time compared to composting. Mm. Five hours a day it saved our staff from the composting to the system. Flood wash, yeah. yeah. And we can fit all the cows in the barn. Yeah. The animal health has been quite big as well. The cows are a lot happier in the barns. Yeah, no, it seems to be lasting pretty well. Look, I can't really say I've noticed any wear spots. I was in there the start of this winter because we had to feed some baleage for a couple of days and had the scraper on the front of the tractor scraping baleage out that was pulled over the wall. Mm. Never noticed anything. Mm. Mats didn't shift or didn't rip any or anything like that, so mm. yeah. Seems to be good, seems to wash pretty good too. We didn't have a normal build, like because we because we already had barns here and it was built for composting. Having the flood wash, like it just wasn't come in on a clean slate and do it. Everything else had to be ripped up from time before, so it was quite a big project, but we're really happy with, yeah. with the outcome. Mm. The cows are dry all winter. It's it's really nice, you can go in there, walk around them. They're as happy as Larry, yeah. It's a good feeling knowing you're looking after your stock.